This is Twit. Windows Phone, the fifteen twenty, the ten twenty, and the nine twenty are now getting cyan. Leo, this one's going to hurt you personally. I, I well, okay, <laughs> just to so. This is so convoluted. But you remember, I have a fifteen twenty. I loved that fifteen twenty. I loved it yeah. like a child, and sure. uh, and 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 I listened. A large, big-headed child. <laughs> Yeah, well, I got a big head, so it worked, as we all do. Uh, mm-hmm. And I, I, I listened to you, Paul, and you said, you know, if you want to see Windows uh, eight point mm-hmm. phone eight one uh, update, you can. Uh, you okay. just join the developer program; it's free. Microsoft encourages this, so I did it. But then Microsoft. Uh, I appreciate you offloading the blame to me. Oh no, I'm going to blame Daniel Rubino. <laughs> <laughs> then, but uh, then no, yeah. but that was all approved, and then Microsoft decided well, to hold up the firmware update because of some compatibility issues. Right. I mean, I, I mean, Daniel and I and, and anyone else who recommended this was, of course, forwarding Microsoft's information because what they said was if you use the developer preview program to get Windows Phone 8.1 on your device early, no worries. Yeah. When the public version ships with the firmware update, which is called Cyan, yeah. uh, you will be able to get that at that time yeah. from your character normally. Like, there will yeah. be no problem. Um, however, when the 1520 became the first Windows Phone handset in the United States to get cyan and windows phone uh, 8.1 publicly microsoft discovered there was a problem whoops and so they started blocking it uh on those devices and said that they would look at issuing a fix it actually wasn't a sure thing that and this was going to happen i loved the new uh, Win- windows phone 8.1 update because i loved the the folders i mean there were some really nice features but and cyan yep. had some very nice features i was yes. anxious to get them yep. so daniel so, rubino told me oh it's no problem you get the Nokia software uh, recovery tool, uh, and you run it, and you basically reset your phone to uh, its original from the factory yep. state. You'll lose your data, but back it up first. There's an easy backup, and I did all that. Um, and then, uh, and then you'll get immediately. You'll get pushed to an update for both Windows 8.1 and Phone 8.1 and Cyan. And you can get back on the developer program. You can restore your backup and all that. Yep. Yeah. I, by the way, I did the same thing uh, before we went to. Barcelona, I was excited to see one of the phones I had got the update publicly. I wanted to see it. I wanted to get the firmware update. Um, I did exactly what you just described. It worked fine. And I used that phone the whole month. You yeah. Color photos with that phone. I, you know, uh, I still don't know. It could very well be something I did. I, I don't know what happened, but I bricked mine. Uh, yeah. And, and by the way, I was told again and again by Nokia folks and users and even a Nokia engineer who was sitting here in the room, you cannot brick this phone. You just have to go into recovery and it won't. I'm not... I'm not saying you're the only person on earth that this has ever happened to, but it is. <laughs> Pretty close. It's very rare. It's hard to do. Yeah. And uh, and that's what uh, Hoo-Ha said. <laughs> right. He said it's it could happen if you just got it at the yeah. right, the exact right wrong time. Uh, you could right. have clobbered right. the recovery firmware as well as the regular firmware. Uh, or, it, to me, I don't even think it's that. I think it's. A complete coincidence like the phone yeah, the I phone think, had I a physical think. failure it just failed yeah. yeah kind of a random thing right so i can't test this on my 1520 because i've already done all those upgrades but uh i do have a 1020 and so uh on the developer preview program like almost all my phones and so today i did do this update it was very quick because all it did was put cyan on there it didn't have to do any of the other stuff and so it's nice if you've ever upgraded windows phone you know that sometimes this can take a little while you know the phone uh, rest- resets, you get the gears, the line goes across, you know, it takes a little while. Um, this took, I, d- I didn't time it. In fact, it, took, it, it was so quick, I sort of didn't think to look at it because I knew it would take a little while. And when it, by the time I looked at it, it, it had to have been less than 20 minutes, possibly even less than 10. It was very quick. And uh, I haven't had time to really use it a lot, but it's, um, it worked. I mean, so that doesn't, I know that doesn't mean success for everybody, but um the 1520, now the 1020. So the, the 1520 um, got Cyan publicly through AT&T back in uh, late, sh- yeah, late July. Now what this means is the 1020 has it on AT&T. And they've also released it on the uh, 920. And so I don't know if the 920, I'm sorry, on T-Mobile in Germany. So I don't know whether the 920 on T-Mobile in Germany are, already had access to this. But if you're on the developer preview and have any one of these three devices now you can upgrade and it works as it would normally and so this is sort of you know months ago when we talked about it get windows phone 8.1 now in early april this was how we expected this to work and so they've 
done it at least for these three devices. I anticipate they'll do it for the other devices. And if they don't, you know, I just would say uh, your experience notwithstanding, um, normally this process, it's not super quick, but it's basically ever, ever free, you know, for the most part, for most people. 